Hey everyone, welcome to George's Library. My name is George and today I want to talk about Kitchen Confidential by Anthony Bourdain. So this is the memoir that originally put Anthony Bourdain on the map. I never got around to reading it before and I never watched any of Bourdain's television shows before hearing of his death. When he died, I was still working at a restaurant kitchen, mainly at Triple O's. Having a life not that different from the life he describes in this book. When I heard of this book, it was described to me as a mix of Hunter S. Thompson if he were a chef. That sounded appealing to me because I really like Hunter S. Thompson's work and I really like food. And I also wanted to see what the big fuss was about when it comes to this Bourdain character. Thus, my journey began. Bourdain's voice is as vibrant as ever. To read his words is to experience his view of the world. And it is filled with food, drugs, profanity, and candor. What makes Bourdain so special is clearly shown amongst the pages here, even from a book that he wrote so long ago. He has a way with words that stands out and you are unable to look away. In particular, on his chapter of his travel to Japan, has all the flavors of what possibly became his trademark later on in his career. His enthusiasm for trying new foods and experiencing new cultures, and the deep understanding that the two are in inextricably linked. To read his words is to feel his emotions, and they are tinged with the bittersweet wonder for new culinary adventures, but also sadness for all that he wouldn't have the chance to experience. I confess, I'm a full-blown foodie. I love trying new restaurants, finding new things to eat that I've I haven't tried before. That moment when you take the first bite from a never-before-tried dish, it's one of the greatest feelings in the world. And Anthony Bourdain passionately embodies that. To read about his early days is an honor. To read about his kitchen life is very relatable to me. And I'm glad I finally got around to it. Okay, thanks for listening. Hope you stay safe, be kind, and keep on reading. I'll see you next time.